Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, 11 losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, the Karate Hati, Michelle Waterson. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, Rodriguez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we are, Newark, New Jersey, the Prudential Center. You know, some people call this the armpit of America. I'm having a good time. I don't know. It's a beautiful place in a beautiful arena. And the fans here are... Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Champ. Great job landing that kick. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, now she's got that tight clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? Both fighters throwing heat now. She blocked the punch. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you'll leave everything else wide. You'll leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's gonna have to oh. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! 
So again, they will clinch here. Watterson's got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, now she's got the tie clinch. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. Round DC as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? by Watterson. She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level. Watterson's looking for an arm bar here. continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions. And Watterson's looking to lock up an arm bar here. You gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. So there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Jab by her there, you know, 
referenced her reach advantage on the tail of the tape and certainly made good use of it there. Effective jab there by Waters. And she switches to Southpaw. Let me show you the head strikes. Oh, kick to the head. That'll rearrange some uh, some brain cells a little bit. Oh, yeah. That she's... Oh. It's over now. Unbelievable. What a fight. That'll get the crowd on its feet. A near perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout. And that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate. And that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Rodriguez! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight.